The majority of people I talk to when I say, would you have sex with a robot? They say yes. <laughs> Most people will. In the next 30 years, one in 10 people will have had sex with a humanoid robot. What's more interesting is asking the question is, is this really sex? So we're entering into this gray area in the future where we're not quite having sex with someone else, another human who's responsive, intuitive, has all those dynamics that make us incredibly human, but we're not quite having a masturbation experience where it's something behind a screen. There's a lot of debate around what constitutes a relationship, what constitutes cheating. Could cheating be not just sex with another person, but could cheating be watching porn or having an emotional conversation with someone via Facebook? Is that emotional cheating? So when we get into the future and we have robotic companions, does that mean that we're cheating on them if we also have a girlfriend or boyfriend? And it's something that's up for negotiation and gonna be much bigger topic of conversation as robots and sex dolls and sex toys all become more accepted and more mainstream. We'll wonder, are we developing an emotional attachment to this technology or is it just sex? And what does it mean if it's just sex? So we're so concerned that sex robots will surpass us, you know, we'll reach this point where the artificial intelligence will become greater than human intelligence. But what we're disregarding here is the magnificent things that make us human. And those are all things that are really hard to replicate with technology. And they're also things that relate directly to intimacy. So what I'm talking about here is skills or capacities that are on the right side of our brain. So those things, creativity, imagination, a sense of intuition, mystery, these are all things that humans are really good at and technology, not so good. Technology is good at things on the left side of the brain, so algorithms, logic, performing calculations. These are things that most definitely robots and technology will surpass humans. In fact, most computers already have. But it's that right side of the brain, those skills that make intimacy and sex and relationships really great, like listening, communication and empathy, that I think we have to develop and continue to develop as humans. And if we're not mindful, I think we'll start to lose those skills. So how do you become a better listener? How do you become better at communication? These are the sorts of things, if you focus on, that will make you a better lover.